Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to do a quick video on Cricut's new iron-on designs. I'm making a pillow for my youngest grandson. Um, so I'm going to turn my camera down and get started. So let's go. Excuse my head. I'm trying to make sure this is in, in the shot there. Okay, so what we're using, let me put my glasses on. We're using Cricut's new one of their new iron-on designs and they come on a transfer sheet it's a one-time use only so once you use it you can't reuse it like you do the well not that you reuse the Cricut vinyl but um it's it's just a one-time use so you apply it to your shirt or your pillow or your tote bag whatever and then it's it's on there um I'm doing the life as a zoo, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the package. Show you guys, I got a variety of them. I think the rest of them are going to go on tote bags that I'll be getting ready for some upcoming craft shows. So I want to get up, get some made up. But I think this is a great idea because it saves you all the time and work in design space or you know, trying to find images and then cut them out of your Cricut Maker or pull a, something off the internet and get it converted so you can download it into Design Space. Um, okay, so I've already measured my pillow. So that's halfway on the top and that's halfway on the side. The instructions say set your easy press to 340 and you heat for 10 to 15 seconds. Oh, preheat material. Okay, so yeah. So 340, I'm going to go to 340 on my easy press. You can also do this with an iron. I just prefer my easy press because it's so easy. And then 50 seconds per section on the surface. Oops. Excuse my reach here. Oh, that's a lot. 50 seconds. I don't think I've ever had my easy press go that many seconds. Okay. Three, four. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And I don't know how, if you're seeing it backwards or sideways, I'm having a hard time figuring that out. So hopefully for now, this will work. And then when I get a little better videoing, setup that should work even better. So while my easy press comes up to temperature, I'm just going to kind of, I don't want to crease this. A lot of times I'll crease. Well, you know what? I could because it's going to come off of here. I could. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to crease to find the center. I'll go end of the image to end of the image, which is pretty much right in the center. Crease the top. And you can do it going this way too. You just sort of crease your edge and that helps you to determine where to line it up. So I'll know if I line up that line to that pin and this line to this pin, we're going to be pretty much right in the middle. So right now I'm just waiting for my easy press to heat up. If you guys have used any of these transfers, let me know. I'd like to know how you like them and what you think about them. Um, if you like my video, hit like. Um, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I appreciate it. Share. Uh, leave comments. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Well, not whatever, but... Okay, so that's in the middle there. And that's lined up pretty good there, so I'm say we're pretty much square there. I think we're good. I think we're good. So yeah, this is going to go in writer's room and he uh, he will love it. Okay, ready? So we're up to temperature. 340 on the easy press for 50 seconds. Let's make sure it's straight. And I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure just because it's a pillow and it's not a hard surface. So I'm going to go right at the top section. 
hit start, apply good pressure. I made, for Christmas, I made a few pillows and, and that was with the Cricut iron on vinyl. And they seem to hold up real well. I made my daughters each one and us one for home and um, they're holding up just fine. In fact, that's why I want to make some more for the craft shows too, make some more pillows. That's a long press, huh? 50 seconds. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend and happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way. I'm sure you're all about getting ready to have your dinner, hang out with friends. Okay, so that was the first section at 50 seconds. I'm going to move my easy press down here. Give it some pressure. You know, I usually use my silicone mat and I didn't. Um, it doesn't say to, but I think when I go over it again, I'll, I'll put my silicone mat on there. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to preheat my material for 10 to 15 seconds. That's pretty common. I do that a lot. Oh well. But yeah, we're going to have corned beef and cabbage for dinner. We had to go shopping today and get a few things. So we had a real light lunch in town. And I got um, corned beef and carrots and potatoes in the crock pot. And I've still got to go cut up the cabbage and get it get it cooking. Okay, so that was 50 seconds. So now, this is cool peel, so I'm not even going to attempt to peel, but what I am going to do is I'm going to lay my Cricut Teflon protective sheet over it, and I'm going to go a second press. Full time, 50 seconds at 340. I usually do that. I like to give it a little extra, any of the Cricut iron-on transfers that I do. I always give it a little bit extra time than they recommend, than Cricut recommends. I'll do the desired time and then I go back in and do just another quick press. And if it's something you're pressing on the back, like a t-shirt or a tote bag, then I do the same thing. I'll just go back in for an extra few seconds. My easy press lost a little bit of heat because of the Teflon, but it, it comes back up to temperature pretty quick. And if you're applying this to these iron-on designs, if you're applying them to uh, a garment, it says wait 24 hours before washing, turn it inside out, and wash and tumble dry on low or medium heat. Do not bleach or dry clean. If you need to iron it, turn your garment inside out and iron it. And it says their recommended material for these is 100% cotton or 100% polyester. And I would think with polyester, <clears throat> you would definitely need a protective sheet of some kind, whether it's a piece of parchment paper or some sort of protective sheet because the polyester will melt. Okay. So that is a cool peel. So now we just have to let it cool. Isn't that cute? Oops, my pin came out. Stick it right over here in my towel so I don't lose it and step on it later, which I probably would. Ooh, that's hot. Yeah, some things are cool peel and some things are warm peel. And this I know from watching a video that this is let it cool one to two minutes and remove. Um, that's what the instructions say, but I have watched a few videos and they say do a cool peel, so we'll let it cool. I'm not going to turn my easy press off just yet because just in case something when I begin to peel isn't adhered correctly, 
or well enough that I can go back over and press again. Just gonna cheat a little. Looks good so far. I think this is a great idea. Makes it so easy. Let's see what other ones maybe I can show you real quick. I don't know because of the angle of the camera if you're gonna see them. But they have this Live Love Teach. Thought that was really pretty. I'm gonna put that on a tote bag. Be a great gift idea for a teacher. Um, and then You Are My Moon, My Fun, My Sun, excuse me, and My Sky. Bookworm. That would really be cute on a tote bag. And then Super Amazing Teacher of Tiny Humans. Now I got these off of the Cricut website because I don't have a Joann's here in town, but I know you can get those at Joann's and they have different transfers. So there's m way more than what I just showed you. And in the Joann's store, there's more options, I think, than even on the Cricut site, which is kind of strange, but <coughs> I can see using these a lot just because they're so quick and easy, you know. How long did it take me? And I've got a, um, I've got a gift, you know. I have to go around and iron out the crease there. Okay, I think that's probably cool enough. And here's the big reveal. This is super cute. I love, 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 love this idea. And see, so now I just dispose of that and we're done with it. It's adhered real well. So yeah, I think that's going to be really cute in Ryder's little room. All right, guys, thank you for watching, uh, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.